Okay, so today we're discussing a very important concept in chemistry. It's the concept of the mole. It's spelled just like that furry animal, you know, the mole. Uh, but it has a specific meaning. Uh, I'm going to give this little quote here. I'm going to say a mole is like a dozen. If you think that mole is some really complicated concept that, you know, only chemists deal with, it's, it's going to be kind of a little fuzzy thing that's a little difficult to pin down. But if you think mole is like a dozen, it's one of those things that, you know, if you know how to count eggs, you should be able to count moles, and it's almost the same thing. So it, if you sort of put it into your common sense thinking, then it becomes a much easier concept. I guess I'm going to tell you that a mole of anything, one mole of anything, is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd units of anything. Now that number 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd is one of those numbers that uh, you probably will have to memorize. Honestly, I'll probably put it on the top of your exam, but it is one of those numbers that uh, a lot of chemists do memorize. Uh, this is known as Avogadro's number. Now, Avogadro is one of those long-dead scientists, so it's named after some guy named Avogadro. And it, it does illustrate that this little equation says, one mole of anything is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd units of anything. So, one unit of anything could be, if you have one mole of atoms, of some given element then you have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of that element and this is equal to the atomic mass of the element in grams. The atomic mass in grams. So if you remember when we were discussing the atomic mass earlier, what we had said is that atomic mass is the mass of one atom in atomic mass units, but here the mole, one mole of, of the atoms of any element is equal to the atomic mass of that element in grams. Not atomic mass units, but grams. Additionally, you can also say that one mole of molecules is equal to Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of that same molecule. And this is equal to the molecular mass of the molecule in grams. So you're thinking to yourself, well, how did this work? I mean, it just sounds very odd. I mean, how do you get a mole? And why do you get this weird number? And what does that have to do with the mass of something in grams? Well, it's just the way it's been defined. But if you think about what a mole is, if you say one dozen eggs from you know, common sense, what you run into every day. So if you say 
You have a dozen eggs. How many eggs do you have? Well, you have 12 eggs. Uh, now, if you say, on the other hand, I have one mole of anything. So I said, I'll look at the number of eggs. So I'll say one mole of eggs. And then I can tell you that I would have, if I had one mole of eggs, I would have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd eggs. It's just like a dozen. So if I say I have uh, a mole of people, then I would have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd people. If I say I have one dozen people, then I have 12 people. So the mole is just like a dozen. It's just a unit of measure of what you expect, how many things you expect. And it doesn't matter whether it's people or eggs or atoms. It's always this, this number of whatever you're looking at that you have. Okay, so elements molar mass in grams per mole is the same number as the elements atomic mass in atomic mass units. So the way people came up with the mole that there's actually 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd is they figured out that if you looked at that many atoms of a particular element that many atoms always weighed that gram's atomic mass in grams. So they came up with the number of the Avogadro's number from actually measuring out that many grams and then figuring out how many atoms that that particular element had. What they did is they actually used as a definition uh, for the mole they used uh, carbon-12. So there are more than one isotope of uh, various uh, elements. Carbon-12 has, carbon has uh, carbon-13, carbon-12, uh, there might even be some carbon-11. So there are various isotopes. So there are isotopes of carbon, of carbon but we're defining the mole for only carbon-12. So the definition says that one mole is equal to the number of atoms in 12 grams of pure carbon-12, the isotope carbon-12. So that's how they defined the mole, and they found out later that this actually is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of carbon-12.